Yo, so what's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you not only the best way to record, but also capture your clips using OBS. Main reason I'm doing this is because in the NVIDIA optimization guide, I said I would show you guys how to use OBS to clip your games. Due to it not only being better than GeForce Experience, but also the other clipping software Metal which a surprising amount of people still use to this day and that concerns me. Really quickly though, I want to tell you guys about our tool that has the ability to completely optimize your PC. By checking out VelocityTweaks.com, you will be able to find our premium tweaking utility that will be able to boost your FPS, lower your latency, and give you overall smoother gameplay. We have over 500 plus tweaks and over 400 reviews on both our Discord and website. So if you're truly interested in getting the most performance out of your PC, make sure you check out VelocityTweaks.com. Now let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is obviously download the OBS software. So you can just search up OBS Studio in Google and click on the first link. I'm assuming most of you are on Windows, so I'm going to be clicking on the Windows download. Once it's finished downloading, open up the installer. And you're just going to want to follow along with the setup. Now that your OBS is open, we're going to configure it to our liking. So under sources, click on the plus button right here. And right here, I'm going to give you the choice. If you prefer for your OBS to capture only your games, then click on game capture. You can name it whatever you want and then click OK. And then under the mode, you can either let it capture any full screen application or a specific window. Meaning if you had something like Fortnite open, you would be able to head down to window and then select the Fortnite application right here. If you choose to capture a specific window, you have to make sure that the game is open before you make the choice. If you're someone like me, however, who would rather clip their entire desktop, click on display capture. You can name it whatever you want and then click OK. And then make sure the capture method is on automatic. Next on the image preview right here, right click and then click on enable preview so it gets disabled. This is just so that it doesn't use extra resources in the background when we're playing. Now head over to the bottom right and click on settings. Head over to output and change the output mode for from simple to advanced. Next, we're gonna go over to recording and set a recording path to where you want your clips to go. I have a folder on my D drive specifically for my clips, so I'm just gonna click it and then click select folder. Now for recording format, you're gonna wanna make sure yours is exactly like mine. Then for video encoder, you're gonna wanna choose NVIDIA NVENC H.264. Now, if you're on an AMD graphics card, I'll put a picture up on the screen showing which one you should choose. Next, you're going to want to scroll down to encoder settings. You're going to want to make sure your rate control is on CBR and make sure your bit rate is 50,000. If your clips are either taking too much storage or your PC cannot handle 50,000, the lowest I would recommend going to is 28,000. Once you're done with that, head over to replay buffer and make sure replay buffer is turned on. And then on maximum replay time, you're going to want to put the amount of seconds you want your clips to be. So if you want your clips to be on the shorter side, you can put in something like 45 seconds. But if you're someone like me and want your clips on the longer end, you can put it to something like 9 90 seconds. Once you're done with that, just click apply. Next up is the audio settings. For desktop audio, you're going to want to choose what your PC is using. And then for your microphone, you're obviously going to want to choose your microphone. Next, you're going to head over to video and you're going to want to put both your base and output resolutions on 1920 by 1080. And if you want, you can put your FPS to 30, but I would wholeheartedly recommend just using 60. Next, head over to hotkeys, scroll down until you see the replay buffer area. And once you click the bar, you're going to be able to bind whatever key on your keyboard you want to your clips. You can do multiple combinations like alt and one at the same time but i'm just going to put mine on backspace so just set it to whatever you're comfortable with and what you're going to remember using and finally head down to advanced on general change your process priority from normal to below normal scroll down and then turn off enable browser source hardware acceleration and then click apply and then okay and now your OBS is set up. All you have to do is just click start replay buffer right here. Now the final thing we have to do is not only make our OBS start up, but also make our clips start up when we turn our PC on. So on your keyboard, you're gonna wanna hit Windows and R at the same time, and then type in shell colon, which is the two dots, and then startup, and then click OK. Once this folder is open, you're gonna wanna find your OBS, right click, click on open file location, and once this is open, right click on the OBS again, and then click create shortcut. And once this shortcut is made, you're just gonna wanna drag the shortcut into the startup folder. Now what we need to do is select your OBS, right click, click on properties, and in the description, you're gonna see four command line arguments that you need to paste into the target section. I'll also put them up on the screen. So once you have them all copied, head over to the absolute end of the target area, hit space on your keyboard, and then do control V to paste in the command lines. And once you've done that, all you have to do is hit apply and okay. And now every time your PC turns on, you'll never have to worry about your clips being off ever. And that's how you set up OBS to clip your games. Just as a reminder, our premium utility has the ability to completely optimize your PC for the lowest latency and most amount of FPS. 
So if you're truly interested in taking your PC to the next level, head over to VelocityTweaks.com. But that's gonna be it for the video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe with notifications so you never miss another tutorial like this, and leave a comment if this truly helped you. Have a great day, guys.